Hello everyone and I'm going to be showing you how to make some scrambled eggs. Now let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get your eggs, obviously. And we have these uh, from our chickens. Well, we have a chicken coop outside with six chickens. And you can get any type of eggs, but since we have these eggs, I'm going to be using them. Take your time while I'm cracking the eggs. How many eggs do you use per person? Because you're making them for two people, you and dad. So how many? About like four. Four per person. Wow. Anyways. Uh, then we're going to get started on. The next step is to wash your hands after you've done making eggs. Rub them for like 40 seconds and they will be all cool. And then we're going to want to get out of the muck. And you can use any type of milk. I, I, I use uh, a whole great, great, great milk. Then you want to pour it in like, not a lot, not too much. That, that should be enough. Then you want to take this and you go... You scrub it up all in there. It takes a little bit, little bit of time, so keep on. How do you know when they're thoroughly mixed? Uh, it's still bubbling up like this. It will start like bubbling up like that. And then it stores it up a little bit more. And then that should be enough. Now we're moving on to step four. Well, well now I'm moving on to step four. What you want to do is put your, uh, your stove on medium low. And then you wanna, you're going to want to take your butter, put it in your pan. Then you just want to like store it around a little, let it melt a little with knife. Store it around. Just wait until that butter's up. It's going to take like one or two minutes, but it'll be ready. Just wait until it's like disintegrated, basically. Get it out on the side so you don't see nothing. She's starting to melt. Mm. Mm. I just want to put a lot of butter. And how much butter you should use is like a little. You should use like a tiny bit of butter. Not, you should use a big fat chicken. Like what would you say that is like one one tablespoon? Yeah, I think like one tablespoon. And as you see, it's pretty much melted. Okay. Now we're moving on to step five. Now we're moving on to step five. Now you want to store your, your eggs up a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Same technique that I use. You think that's good? About good? Let's see if the bubbles. Oh yeah, I see the bubbles. Yeah. So that's about good. Now we're moving on step six. And on step six, you want you you're gonna want to pour your mix into the pan. How much mix for each pan? It doesn't. You should if you're cooking for like two people. 
then it should be two. It should be like two mixed. It should be like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so then you're just going to want to let it sit for just a couple minutes. And we'll give you info when it's all ready. All right. Now moving on to step seven. Well, on step seven, we already poured the mix in. Now, and it's been so, sitting for about how long? About like a minute, yeah, maybe minute. two. And you're gonna take like a spatula or like one of these if you have one of these in your house. Then you're gonna start one of storing. And if if you're wondering when do you know how, when you start storing, it'll start thickening up. You see that right there? It started thickening thickening up a little. Kind of gotta wait. A Needs bit. a little bit more time. Yeah, a little bit more time. Well, anyway. So, what makes your eggs better than everyone else's? Well, I make them fluffy. If you like fluffy eggs, then come to me. I will make them as fluffy as a biscuit. I don't know what I'm saying. So, I keep on storing. Maybe like you like that a little bit. You might need to adjust your heat a little, right? Yeah. Maybe turn it up a little, turn maybe like to little. medium. To, yeah, to medium. And, it's, and I think I'm still thickening up by now. Oh, it's thickening up. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I see the pieces cooking. You see, you see that one right there? Mm hmm. Cooking. <laughs> you always got to hold that pot secure, right? Yeah. You don't want it wobbling around on you? Yeah, you don't want to be like, ooh. That's like intense. You see, the thickness started to thicken oh, up. Oh, yeah, those are starting to look good, Cole. Thanks, Mom. You just want to keep on storing it around. Keep on doing that. You see, it's thickening up a lot. You just want to keep on storing. And, and use this time to... To just uh, stool while you're at it. Oh, it's starting to thicken up more. That's looking good. Sometimes, if like it's not thickening up a lot, you just want to make it like wait. If you're still on medium low, then it'll, it'll take a couple like minutes, like three or four minutes, but it'll be finished. But if you if you want to like tone it up a little and like make it faster, then go to medium. You see, it's really starting to thicken up. It's still watery though. See, oh, like flip them over. No, while you're in the pan, get every inch because you don't want. Do we need to turn it down to medium low now again so they don't burn or just yes. yeah? Since they're cooking good now, you can turn that heat down to medium low again. Just gonna keep on scraping. Yeah. Scrape. And the scraping keeps it from burning on the bottom, right? Yeah. Keeps them fluffy. Keeps them fluffy. Keeps them looking like half pound. <laughs> so you just want to keep on scraping. If I'm making this part too long, too, you can skip it if you want. Oh, now they're starting up to thicken a lot. Now, we're going to move, in like one minute, we're going to move on to like step eight. Well, I cook these eggs for about a minute and a half, a minute longer, and as you see, they're starting to get a little fluffy, and I think they're about ready to, to be soft. Okay, so what do you do? Remove them from the heat? Remove them from the heat, heat and make sure you store your stove is off. Well, after you are done with your fluffy eggs, with fluffy eggs, you're going to want to take some eggs and put them on your plate, because who's going to eat them? Now Relax. it's time to plate and eat, right? 
Yeah, just let me. Careful, hold on to the thing. It's kind of hard. Do you need help, Chef? <laughs> no, it's slippery. I'll add some salt, don't worry. Just keep on hitting the lid. Wow, those are fluffy eggs. And, yeah, that's how you cook fluffy eggs. And we're gonna, now, step nine, time to eat them. Now it's time to start getting ready to eat. I like to put some hot sauce on my eggs. Mm, those are very tasty eggs. Thank you, Dad. And you don't salt or pepper yours till the very end, right? Yes. And you can't forget the most important step. You gotta thank God for your food. Lord, thank you for this wonderful food, Lord. And pray, amen. 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 Now let's start eating. Ha. But delicious. How are those eggs? Perfect. And that's it for uh, how to cook some fluffy eggs. Bye, guys.